Hello everyone and welcome to Kid City. Wow. I, I thought that you were going to say more. Hello everyone and welcome to our Kid City service online. We miss you guys, we love you guys, and we can't wait to see you. Look, we're here to introduce you to an amazing lesson. So I hope you're ready. Are you ready, Mr. Martell? I'm ready. Raise your hands, get ready to worship. Hey you, yeah, no, no, yeah, you, you, there, sitting down, stand on up. It's time to get some worship going. Come on, let's go.
everyone. It's so good to see you. I know church looks a little bit different than it normally does because you're at home and probably in your Superman PJs, but God is everywhere and we can have church right here online in your living rooms. Hearing we love to have fun and learn about God. Speaking of fun, are you guys ready to have some fun? Me too. Let's play a game. You can grab a parent or sibling to play if you want. This game is called Freeze Dance. First, what you'll need to do is crank up the volume on the iPad, TV, or whatever device you're using. Now, when the music starts, I want you to bust out your best dance moves. But when the music stops, you gotta freeze right where you are. You ready? All right, three, two, one, go. Wow, guys, that was awesome. You guys are starting to see some dance moves from your parents, probably. It's... So here we go. This next time when the music starts, I want to see your best robot dance, okay? So let me see it. Get those arms. Okay, oil that up a little bit. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, robot. Wow, guys, you guys are some really good robots, okay? Now, this last time, we're gonna see your best ballet dance moves, okay? So, start stretching. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Okay, good job guys, man, that was amazing. You guys did so great at that game. Maybe you kind of help your parents out a little bit. They probably haven't danced that much in a while, so you need to help them out. We have even more fun things to do today. Every week, we do something called a word declaration. We declare God's word because God's word is powerful. So go ahead and stand up on your feet and let's declare this over our lives right now. Now, let's shout this so loud that our neighbors can hear us. Here we go. I'm going to count you down. If you know the motions, go ahead and do them with me. One, two, three, four. Um, I can't really see. Can you guys see me at all? It's really dark in here. I need something like a flashlight or, hang on, hang on, let me, okay, all right, well, okay, I need to find some kind of a flashlight. Oh, here we go, here we go, okay. Whew, wow, okay, that's better. You know, the room looks really different right now in the dark. I know things are a little different right now, even right now while I'm filming. It's really hard for me to see right now. Things look a little different everywhere right now. And you know what? Things feel a little different right now too. Maybe in your home or in the world. Do things feel different for you right now? You probably have been home from school for a while now, huh? I bet you miss your friends at school too. I haven't been able to go to work for days and I really miss my friends that I work with. Sometimes in moments like this, it can feel really dark and empty and lonely. It might be hard to not get to play with your friends. You might really miss going to school or maybe you miss getting to see and hug your grandparents. I haven't seen my grandma in a few weeks and I really miss her. Sometimes that can feel kind of like a dark place. You may be hearing a lot of people talking about sickness and the coronavirus and hearing all of that and hearing the people talking about it on the news could make you feel really afraid and worried. Honestly, Sometimes I am a little confused and afraid about what's going on. But did you know that you don't have to live in fear 
even when we don't know what is going on, even when everything is so confusing, even when it's dark, there is someone we can turn to who can help us. Do you know who that is? That's right, Jesus. And he can bring light into any dark situation we find ourselves in. Hey, today I wanna talk to you about how God is light. Let's talk about what light is and what it does for a second. You know what? Let me grab my coat real quick. Okay, got my lab coat, let's get scientific. Have you ever thought about what happens to darkness when a light comes in? Or can darkness and light even be in the same place? What do you think happens to darkness when a light comes in? Is there like, okay, is there like this epic battle between them and only one can be the winner? Let's see what happens. Let's test this and see what happens when darkness and light come together. Let's get it dark in here. A little more. More. Perfect. So, it's pretty dark in here right now. Let's see what happens when I put a light in the darkness. Wow, did you see how quickly the darkness went away? All I had to do was turn on the light. You know, let's try this one more time and make sure this wasn't a one-time thing. Let's try that again. Okay, let's see if the light wins again. Wow, the darkness didn't stand a chance. That was super, super awesome. You know, the Bible tells us that in the beginning, there was a lot of darkness and God said, let there be light. Darkness and light can't be in the same place together. They can't exist at the same time and light always overpowers the darkness. Light always wins. Like I said before, God is light. Check out this verse in John 1, verse five through seven. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaimed or say to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. God is light and when we accept Jesus in our heart, his light is in us. Many of you have God's light in you already. You've already asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, but maybe some of you have never accepted Jesus in your heart. You've never invited him and his light inside of you. You can do that right now, and here's how you do it. If you'd like to receive Jesus and receive his light in your life, repeat this after me. God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending him for us. Lord, I admit that I need you. Come and fill my heart with your light. I give my life to you. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. I am so proud of you guys. If you just prayed that prayer, I want you to pause this video right now and go tell your parents. They are going to be so excited to hear that you just made the best decision of your life and ask them to come back with you and watch the rest of this message. Hey parents, did you know that a lot of kids just got saved and asked Jesus to live in their heart? Your child may have been one of them. And we want to let you know that we care about you and so does the Lord. He loves you so much. If you're watching and you haven't had a specific moment where you ask Jesus to be your Lord, you can do that right now. You can pray this simple prayer with me. God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending him for us. Lord, I admit I need you. Come and fill my heart with your light. I give my life to you. I love you. In Jesus name. Amen. That's awesome, guys. We are so excited for you and your family. The Bible says in 1 John 1, 7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, remember, God is light. We have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from sin. So God is light and when we walk with him, we are also in the light and have fellowship with one another. Welcome to the family of God. Like I said before, even though right now things are a little different and we might be home and separated, we're really all together in fellowship with God. Right now, we can be a light to the world around us. We can be a light in the darkness by showing others the light of God that's in us. 
we have something for you and your family to do together. Tonight, as it starts getting dark, let's spread some light. Grab a candle or a lamp and light it in your home together as a family. Let's do it every night as a reminder of God's light. Let's shine some light in your world. This is a great time to pray together as a family and thank God for being a light in your home during this season. We love you guys and we'll see you next week.